Hello YouTubers, Marty09933. Today we're going to be changing the spark plugs on this uh, <clears throat> 011 BMW 535i. And we're also going to be looking at this uh, crankcase vent tube. And I accidentally broke it and I'll show you here as we get into it. Okay, first of all, you can probably get away with not removing this, but I kind of want some more room. I, everything, I've kind of got it loose. I just want to go through it real fast so I can show you. Uh, one side's a 15 and the other one's a, a 16 millimeter. I don't know why, but anyway, that's how you remove this little bracket. And then you want to take a flathead screwdriver and loosen these clamps. You got two. One right here and one back here. And then you're gonna wanna remove this. Let me move this light real quick, guys. Okay, you wanna remove this hose that goes to the uh, air filter box. Just take a screwdriver, wedge it in here. You got a little uh, notch here. So you just wanna lift up on this. Be real careful and pull on it, see? And the same thing on the other side. See, that's the notch that gets hooked up on this little gap there. Show you real close. And then this will come out. It won't come out all the way, but it'll get you enough so where you can take off the uh, box. Then you want to come back here and undo these hoses. And all it is is these, uh, if I can hold it in, little rubbers that are stuck on. I'll turn this light on. Just pull up on them and unhook them from this this bracket here. Man, this lighting's real bad, guys. I'm sorry. So I can show you here real quick. Oh man, I didn't know the lighting. Was and the way you take these uh, lines, you just lift up on it. It's got these little rubber grommets, whatever you call them. And you just wiggle them up. And see, they come out. That's all it is. It's hooked up on that bracket right there. Just hook it on, push it in there. You got three of them. This one. Here you can see better here. Just wiggle it out. Bam, back in. Wiggle it out. That way those will be out of your way. <clears throat> and then with all this loose, like I said, once you got all this loose, pull this back so you can clear it. And then you're gonna pull on this box. You're gonna pull up on it. And sometimes you have to pull real hard. <clears throat> and wiggle it out of here. Let me uh, show you how that's hooked up on there. You've got some grommets that are holding it on there. And it is held on by these grommets, three of them. And here's the studs where they go to. So just, sometimes it's real hard. The first time I took it off, it was real hard. It felt like it was gonna break, but don't worry, you're not gonna break nothing. Then we come over here. And we're going to undo this uh, sensor over here. I'm going to put the light over here. This sensor. Okay, I kind of uh, jumped the gun here. Don't forget to take this off. This is real easy. Just work it around these hoses. And it pulls right out. And this is what holds that one. Those two little clips there go in here. Just goes right in like that. And watch out because these little grommets will come out and you, you don't want to lose them. And uh, then you want to pull this sensor. It's got a tab back here and you push on it and it'll pop out. And I'll show you closer how that tab works. No, you can't see. And then again, you're going to lift on this. <clears throat> Just like here, it's going to have grommets and a stud right there. Okay, wiggle it off there. And that's the grommet. And then there's that stud that it goes into. So you, let me show you here real quick what I was talking about. 
here's that tab this is the way it goes in there and I have a pick at home but I'm at my brother's again his shop so I left the pick at home I try to get some lighting on there for you okay hopefully you can see better this is the tab it's just kind of hidden because it's towards the back of the firewall but this is the tab you're gonna take a pick I used the drill bit this time and just push on that tab right here and that'll release this sensor okay get that out of the way and now we'll go to the other side and we're gonna undo a couple of these screws like this one right here let me see what size they are okay you got two screws hitting back here no, it's hard to see. I don't have real good lighting. And they're uh, T25. And I already took one out. This one I already took out. And I'm working on this one, which it's already loose. And that's what they look like. Little boogers. Okay. That's going to let you lift this up because you're going to have to move it around. Come back on this side, passenger side, and you've got two more. And guys, they're way hitting in there. See that one? You can barely see it right there, that one. And now he took the one back there. And I was able to get to these with a small extension. Uh, now, if you can't get to them, you can move this plastic so you can move these hoses around. And the way this plastic moves, you've got a lock position here. Slide it that way, and it opens it. See, again, lock position, open. Lock, and back here, when you push it that way, it comes out of this side. Anyway, if you have to, if you're having a hard time to get into these screws, because they are hitting back there, take this cover off. And then these wires will pop off and see there you go now you can see clearly those bolts that i was talking about see there's one and i already took the back one now which is way back there so this will help you move these hoses out of the way and uh you'll be able to get to that uh screw down there then you want to come over here after you get those and they, they, they've got a certain place where these hoses go so just make sure you put them back where they go when you get ready to put it back together then you want to come down here and you've got a 10 millimeter bolt right here take that out and then you got some more t25s here you've got two one there and one over here then you got this sensor and you just want to pull up on this little clip here just get something, stick it in there, pry it up, and this should slide right off. Again, this is how you take this one off. Just pry it right here. Just very little because it's plastic. And pull it out. Just lift on this tab. And pull this out. And one thing I forgot to mention, guys. Before you start, you might want to call your BMW dealer or pre-order the parts because... The thing about a BMW, it does have a lot of plastic parts that get brittle with time, like this right here. It broke. I mean, all you're supposed to do is squeeze it, just like this one. See if you can see, it's got two plastic little, if I can find one up here. Maybe I can see this one up here. Nope, that one. We can get some light on it. See, you're supposed to squeeze these like this, and then they pop out. But you can see they're so brittle, you know, with heat and with time, they get rid of brittle. So they might break on you. And this broke on me. This is the part I told you. It's called the crankcase vent. It broke on me. When I popped it out, it doesn't have no flexibility. It's new, so this one is gonna have some flexibility. But the old one, it was brittle. And as soon as I popped it out here, crack. So I was going to show you, you can get away by rigging it up. I taped it. I got a little rubber hose, 
about the same size as this and I put it in there and I wrapped it with electrical tape and I got away for like a close to a month driving like that and then I ordered this one who well, actually got it from the dealer if you order it online it's gonna cost you about $38 I don't know what they charge for shipping if you get it at the dealer it's $61 and I think I've got the website on my phone here. <clears throat> okay, there it is, guys. I don't know if you can see. Crank case vent holes. $38. eBay or whatever parts store online, they have it. So be careful when you pull this guy up. Very careful because I know yours is going to be real hard and it's not going to be brittle. I mean, it's going to be real brittle. This one's got some flexibility, as you can see, because it's brand new. I just bought it, so I'm good. But uh, when you have the old one, you need to be real careful because it will crack, like just like an egg shit. And you also have a clamp down here. And I already took it off. I'm going to have to replace it. It's pretty bad. It's, it's, it's about to break, so I'm going to replace it. It's another clamp here, just like what you got up here. Once you do that, and like I said, they should have those little paper, uh, plastic handles that you press and pop it out. But like I said, they're so brittle, they broke. So I'm probably gonna have to order that one. Now let me set the camera here and we'll pull this real gently. Well, you might even be able to just get away with pulling it back like this. But like I said, this is this got flexibility right now, but the old one, I, mean, I couldn't even move it like that. It was so hard that it broke on me when I popped it. So I don't even need to take this one off. But if you do, be real careful. Pop it out. Take your time popping it out because it's going to want to just pop out and fly on you. <clears throat> see if I can pop this one. Come on. Hope I don't break it. Let's take your time. There we go. If you need to disconnect yours, just like I said, just real slowly. See, there's no flexibility. Damn, that's all it comes out. Like I said, I don't need to take out mine, but if you need to take out yours, be very careful. Okay, then you want to go up here, and now you can move this up and around. See, and you've got this foam like here. You want to take that out. Lift it up here. Just work it, work it till it comes out. This one's kind of ripped down here. Watch that sensor. That's what it is. Just get this out of the way. And see, you've got a, this thing's in the way. I think you got a couple of spark plugs in there that's gonna give you a hard time. Then you got another bracket here and that has to be removed so you can get to those last two spark plugs. Okay, just pop these connections from this little bracket that's holding these. Just pop them out, they pop right out. And then we're gonna need a Probably another T25. See that screw right there? Need to get that one out so we can remove this bracket and get it out of our way. And no, sorry guys, that this screw is not a T25. It's a different size than the other ones. This is a T30. So you're gonna have to get a T30. And loosen this bracket. And see, now you can move this bracket around, all this junk around, and get to those spark plugs. See, that'll give you room to get to these. I think we're ready to start. Okay, back to this vent too, guys. And I, again, guys, be very careful. These are plastic and they break real easy. The way I took off the other one, which I'm not going to move this one because I don't have my pick. But uh, I'm going to put the screws back in there. I looked out. I can get uh, into those spark plugs with that. You might be able to, but on my other one, that was real brittle. And the way I took it off, I know they have a tool for this, but I don't have the tool. And uh, so I just used uh, a piece of uh, cardboard 
and I lifted these little arms up and like I said be careful because they will break just lift them up enough where you can get a piece of cardboard and just play with different sizes till you get one in there then you lift the other one and get the other one in there and go all, all the way around and then you can pull this unless you have that special tool you can do it but if not that's for the way I did it I stuck these under there I lifted slowly on those up and see I stuck that in there and I did it down here again till I got all, all three of them and I think there's a fourth one down there but that one I used to pick when I had these already opened with the cardboard I just used to pick and I pulled it out so that'll work guys unless you got the tool okay let's go back to the spark plugs <clears throat> And like I said, guys, if, if these are getting in your way, let's go ahead and pop them out of this bracket. And get this bracket out of your way completely. Just throw it over to this side. Now there you got access to these spark plugs, the last two. This way. Now we can get to it. The way these works, you're just gonna pull on this cap up all the way. Once you pull it, it's gonna push that cable out. Look, see? And just pull the wiring out and then grab it and wiggle it around and it should come out. There we go. Hear that pop? It's a nice sound. That means you're getting somewhere. And move these wires around, these cables, whatever. There we go. We got that one out. Now let me get my socket. And guys, you're gonna need a special socket for this. I got it at AutoZone. I don't have the part number, I'm sorry. But it's a 14 millimeter thin wall 12 point socket. If you try to use a regular socket, it's not going to fit in there. It'll go in there, but then it's going to hit against the wall, and it won't go all the way down to the spark plug. So you're going to need this one. I forgot what it cost me. And again, guys, when I go in there, I go in with a 6-inch extension. Go in there, get it on that spark plug, and then I add a 3-inch at the back. That'll give me some more room to take it out. Sometimes you go with this one in because it's right back there by the fire one. You'll be hitting on the frame and stuff. See, if I had the other one, you'd be hitting in the back here. So I'm just using the six inch. I feel it grabbing the spark plug. Now I'll put the three inch. Now I can get to it. And when it's far enough, I'll take the three inch off and finish off with the uh, six inch. Well, I didn't really need the three inch. I could get in there, so you don't need the three inch. Maybe the six inch will do. Okay, and when you put the new spark plug, always uh, go in there with it slowly and hand tighten first. Make sure you go in there, guide it in there. Once you feel the threads are grabbing, then you can start turning it with the ratchet. I go with the hand tightening till I can't do it no more, just to be on the safe side. Okay, I'll probably use the three inch on the back so I can reach it better. I'm gonna go ahead and do all the other ones. I won't film them all and I'll film this last one over here or the first one so you can see, get a clear shot exactly how I do it. 
Okay, guys, like I said, I was going to film the last one so you could see. You got a clear shot here. Okay, again, all you do is you pick up on this tab right here. Boom. And when you open it all the way, it automatically pushes this connection. So you can see, look. Now I'm going to put it all the way, and it's going to push that connection out. See? Might be hard to see, but yeah, it pushes that. And just grab it. And I, I wouldn't really pull it from here. I've seen guys do it, but I don't know. I'm afraid. You can do it if you want to. But I try to grab it as much as I can from the base, but there's really not much to grab. So if they're loose, they'll come out just by pulling on this one. Like, these ain't too bad. See, they come out when I pull on that. But if they're too tight, you know, just be careful. And again, I put my uh, socket in there. Break it loose. Set this camera down here, guys. Here we go again with the light, not where I want it. Once I loosen it, I go with the uh, cordless drill or ratchet. Okay, now when I put the new one in, I go slowly guide it in there, turn it by hand. Let me use the uh, three inch so I can have more room. And guys, these suckers are long, the threads are long, so you're gonna be turning and turning, you're gonna go like, damn, am I even in there? Yeah, they're super long, man. See, I'm thinking I'm not even doing anything, but it's going in. There we go. Then uh, I don't have the specs. You can look them up, but I've been doing this for a long time that I go by feel. Look, see how loose it is? Damn, them threads are long. Just give it one good <coughs> tightening, and I'm good to go. We go this bad boy so the socket don't stay in there like it just did. There we go, everything comes out in one piece. Okay, now to put it back in, take your coil, and these are kind of marked, guys. It shows you the direction, see, where this part of the uh, coil goes. You know, don't go this way, and of course the wire is gonna be on that side, so you can't really mess up. Okay, put it in there. Get that wire out of there. Okay, push it in there firmly. Take your connector and push it in there. And you'll see that wants to close. When you push it in, that's gonna want to close. See, that means you're good. Push it in and then snap. You're done. All right, let's start putting it back together. Oh yeah, and uh, again, be careful with this. Like I said, I broke it. It's a lot of plastic stuff here. It's real brittle, so just be careful. Like I said, call your dealer ahead of time. See if they got that part in stock so you don't have to go without it or have your car parked or rig it up like I did and finally got the piece. All right, guys, we're done. Uh, it's time to put it back together. I'm not gonna film it. Just do it in the reverse way I've got another vehicle. I need to get out. So I'm gonna start on that and make sure y'all put this uh, Bracket so y'all can put these connectors in there and uh, Easier said than done I guess Oh, There we go and again guys. I'll tell you over and over be careful with the plastic It's real brittle and it will break this one, I have to go to BMW tomorrow and see if they have that this hose because I broke that little clip that goes here. Maybe I should follow my own advice on calling them ahead of time, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a breather. I'm going to take a break, and then I'm going to get on that other car. And thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you.